Hi, today we're going to read a book called Math Fables. Fables are stories that help teach us a lesson. You will need a paper and a pencil because you're going to do some math along with my reading. Here we go. Dinner guest. One spider waited patiently. At last her web was done. Just who would come to dinner now and be the lucky one? A fly, a moth, mosquitoes would be great. It's nice to know that all good things will come to those who wait. Now pause your video and write how many number sentences you can that equal the number one. Ways to make a one, and it would be one plus zero. Trying times. The sun was shining overhead. The skies were bright and clear. For two young birds safe in their nest, the time to fly was here. With wings spread wide, one bird took flight, but fluttered to the ground. The other one fell from the sky and very nearly drowned. The two birds practiced all day long until they both could fly. Sometimes the most important thing in life is just to try. Now show me how you write the number sentences that equal two. Two plus zero equals two and one plus one equals two. Family affair. Three turtles living in the woods were always on the go. One day they headed for a pond, albeit very slow. The youngest one soon raced ahead, but accidentally tripped. The other two caught up with him and found that he had flipped. They quickly grabbed him by the shell and righted him once more. All three agreed wholeheartedly. That's what family's for. Now show us how to write number sentences for three. Three plus zero equals three and one plus two equals three. Remember the number plus zero always equals the same number. Going nuts. Four squirrels frolicked in the leaves one brisk fall afternoon, when suddenly it dawned on them, the snow was coming soon. We haven't any winter food, three frightened squirrels cried. I guess we'd better get to work, a prudent one replied. Two squirrels raced to gather nuts and made a great big mound. The other two then buried them in stashes underground. All four slept very well that night, no longer feeling scared. They learned it's wise to plan ahead and always be prepared. Now show us how to write number four. Four plus zero equals four. One plus three and two plus two also equal four. Midnight snack. Five smart raccoons set out one night to get a bite to eat. They came upon a garbage can, a most delicious treat. Before we eat, let's first give thanks. For thoughtful raccoons said, the youngest one put down the food and bowed his little head. We offer thanks, all five began, for each unfinished plate. Leftover food and chicken bones we so appreciate. Now ways to make a five. Five plus zero, one plus four, and two plus three. Tools gold. Along the rocky ocean coast, in water clear and blue, six otters like to swim and play and look for shellfish too. One afternoon, two saw some clams along the ocean floor. Four quickly dove to scoop them up, then hurried back for more. B 
These shells are hard to pry apart, thy puzzled otter's side. Try striking them against a rock, a clever one replied. A group of three tried this technique and found it worked quite well. The other three then followed suit and opened every shell. The smith, six smart otters were content. All had their fill of clams. They each had also learned to use a tool and not their hands. Now show me how you write six. Six plus zero, one plus five, two plus four, and the doubles of three plus three. Gone with the wind. The autumn air was growing cool. The days were shorter too. For seven monarch butterflies, a trip was overdue. They had to get to Mexico before the winter freeze. One led the other six in flight atop a southern breeze. Their journey would be very far, a thousand miles or more. The monarchs flew both day and night in groups of three and four. We should have left here weeks ago, five butterflies exclaimed. We hate to say we told you so, two know-it-alls proclaimed. At last, all seven made it home, too tired to celebrate. They vowed next spring to be on time and not procrastinate. Seven plus zero equals six. Seven plus zero equals seven. Two plus five equals seven, and three plus four also equals seven. As the numbers get higher, there's more possibilities to make two numbers equal it. Profile in courage. One hot and sultry afternoon down at the tidal pool, eight crabs were buried in the sand, just trying to stay cool. The water here is much too warm. Five weary crabs complained. The sun is very strong today, the other threes explained. A group of four then grabbed their things and headed to the shore. The others followed after them, a second group of four. As seven stood by cautiously, one daring crab jumped in, but soon got hammered by a wave and caught him on the chin. The smallest crab swam out to help. Now in the sea were two, with six left cheering on the shore, this bold and brave rescue. The crabs at last were one big group. Again, they numbered eight. They all then thanked their lucky stars for having friends so great. Now how many number sentences can you make with the number eight? Eight plus zero. One plus seven, two plus six, three plus five, and four plus four. Which one is your doubles? Antics. One warm and sunny afternoon, the month was late July. Nine ants were rather hungry when a picnic they did spy. Three crept ahead to take a look while six ants stayed behind. Some crackers, cheese, a loaf of bread, such treasures they did find. This food's too big for us to lift. Eight worried ants complained. We'll have to work together then, the oldest one explained. When finally their task was done, the nine ants felt just great. They each had learned the meaning of the word cooperate. The ways to make a nine. We have nine plus zero, one plus eight, two plus seven, three plus six, and four plus five. And our last number, river sticks. 10 beavers left for work one day. They had a lodge to fix. All marched along in single file in search of broken sticks. A group of seven raced ahead and found a fallen tree. They quickly gnawed off all the limbs, then called the other three. How will we get these branches home? 
nine puzzled beavers cried. We need to dig a small canal, a clever one replied. So six went back and dug into a river, river's muddy shore. They soon had made a waterway right to the other four. The trees were now a cinch to move. Five floated them downstream. The other five then built a roof, the best you've ever seen. Their home was nearly finished now with few things left to do. Eight quickly patched the holes with mud while cracks were filled by two. At last the beaver's job was done and 10 let out a cheer. They each had earned the title of domestic engineer. And our last number, show me how you can make number sentences for the number 10. 10 plus zero, one plus nine, two plus eight, three plus seven, four plus six, and our doubles, five plus five. Good job and check your work with mine. See you next time.